Hi guys, uh, my name is Croft Long. I'm the product manager for motorcycles at Kawasaki Motors Corp. We're here today to introduce the 2019 KX450. There's three really important things about this motorcycle. Number one, it's got more power. Number two, it's got an all new chassis and a race ready suspension. And number three, it's got the button. Okay, why don't we take a closer look and let's look at some of the details on this bike. Come on over here. Okay, so we're going to start off with a chassis. I've got a 2018 chassis to compare to the 2019. Overall, a lot of effort was put into making this chassis, the 19 chassis, a little bit lighter. It's 1.87 pounds lighter overall. It still has um, uh, multiple uh, extrusions. It has some cast sections. Uh, and it has uh, some combination sections here. But I draw your attention on the 19 to this lower frame cradle. Uh, this has an all new shape. It helps get the engine as low as possible in the chassis and it really beefs up this section connection between the uh, swing arm pivot point and the front down tube. Along with that we've got some changes in the ergonomics of the bike. Let's start with the fuel tank and the seat. This is the 2018 fuel tank. This is 2019. You'll notice in this area the 2018 is quite a bit taller than the 2019. This was reduced about 20 millimeters uh, to get a smoother transition from the seat to the fuel tank to allow the rider to scoot up a little bit further and uh, easier on the tank. Same capacity, 1.6 gallons. That was achieved by a fuel pump, which is lower profile. So uh, the underside of the tank is going to look very similar but the 19 gets a lower profile fuel pump. Okay, as we move on to the seats, uh, we've got a 2018, 2019. Uh, when you look at the comparison here, you can see the 18 is a little bit shorter, uh, but it's also flatter. And that's really what they were working on is that smooth transition from the uh, mid seat to the back to the front. So you can really easily move around on the bike. Um, also, uh, your other touch point on the bike is going to be the foot pegs, and we got some big changes here on the foot pegs. This is the 18, this is the 19. So we've gone from a cast part to an aluminum part, saved a lot of weight here. And likewise with the foot pegs, this is the 18, this is the 19 peg. Uh, this 19 foot peg is 5 millimeters wider, but the center of pivot point where it's located on the chassis is moved back about three millimeters. So effectively, the front uh, leading edge of the foot peg, the distance from there to your brake pedal or from there to the shift lever is optimized. So it has not changed from 18 to 19. But the foot peg, nice, big and wide, and you can see mud, dirt will drop right through that. Okay, let's move on to the engine. Uh, when I start with the engine, I always like to start with the air filter because that's kind of where the air starts and we'll just follow the airflow. So we got the 18 air filter here, the 19 air filter. Uh, if you could reach in and grab this, you would be able to feel that the 2019 air filter is actually thinner. And that's, that was done to improve the airflow. Uh, obviously it has a different shape. Uh, the air box is all new and this is accessed through the left side of the bike. When you reach the head, the cylinder head, this is the 18, this is the 19. Uh, some big differences here. Let me start with the intake port uh, because that's where, again, the air flow comes from. So uh, this is the new intake port. The casting, when this is liquid metal and it's poured into the mold, the casting has a special surface treatment on it that results in a very smooth intake port. Uh, as opposed to the 18, which to optimize the 18, uh, using that production process, you would probably have to hand polish the intake port. So uh, no hand polishing needed on these. This is due to a process improvement, so you get nice, smooth uh, airflow on the intake. Another big difference on the 2019 is the uh, valve configuration. So this has a finger follower valve actuation, uh, where the 2018 is direct uh, cam actuation. So this is a 2018 cam. Uh, just as an example, I'll use uh, one of the 2018 valves. Of course, I'm not showing you the bucket that rides on top of this, but basically this rides in the head and pushes directly down on the camshaft. For 2019, we have an all-new camshaft, and you see this has 
uh, some very straight uh, approaches to it, some very uh, straight angles to it. I don't have the actual part, but it's called a finger follower. And it rides on top of the valve, and it's basically like my finger. And the, the advantage is when you push down a little bit in here, you get a lot of movement at the end. So you can move the valve faster, open and close it faster, uh, and that uh, makes the engine breathe better and gives better performance. Um, and this is technology that was developed from our World Superbike team, from Kawasaki World Superbike. So we're very excited to have this in a production bike now in the KX450. Um, another big change for 2019 is in the throttle body. This is the 19, this is the 18. They might appear uh, similar, uh, and actually the basic construction is somewhat similar. This one's the 2019, it's 44 millimeters. 2018 was 43 millimeters. But the big difference is inside the throttle body. You can see at the top here, that's where the fuel injector injects fuel. And the way the butterfly opens is it opens at the bottom. So when you go from closed throttle to open throttle, that initial throttle opening, this plate opens at the bottom, the air flows in at the bottom, the, the gas is being squirted in at the top. For 2019, they flipped it around. So you still have uh, the same basic throttle body design with the fuel injector at the top, but now when you open the throttle plate, it opens at the top. So now the airflow is, is flowing directly over the fuel injector where you're squirting that fuel in there and getting better atomization uh, right there in the throttle body. Again, much more crisp or uh, precise uh, initial throttle response. Uh, so I mentioned some weight savings uh, in the chassis. We also saved about two pounds of weight in the engine. And some of that is reciprocating weight. So 2019 piston, 2018 piston. Uh, you can see some small differences uh, in the uh, cutouts here on the top. And you can also see some differences in the bottom. This piston, although it's a bridged box design, same basic design, uh, it is now actually lighter and stronger than the previous year model. So we did a lot of weight savings technology, a lot of efforts on the engine and the chassis, and we did all of that so we could add some weight. And the weight we added was on the starter motor. So we now have electric start. Uh, not only do we have the starter motor, but of course it has to have a wire harness, it has to have uh, the alternator, the power to, to charge the battery, it has to have the starter button. Uh, but as far as weight savings, we did whatever we could to save weight. So we've got actually the lightest battery in class, in the 450 motocross class, with this lithium-ion sky-rich battery, 490 grams. It's very, very light. Other changes, significant changes that we made for handling is a new front axle. This is the 2019. It's a 22 millimeter axle. Last year we had a 20 millimeter axle. Uh, this makes the steering a little bit more precise and also helps the suspension stay perfectly in line so that the front suspension, the front fork, uh, works very smoothly. Uh, another little detail change that we have is a new rear brake rotor. Uh, this is made by braking. It's a pedal-shaped rotor, 250 millimeters. Last year was round and 240 millimeters. So we went up in size on the rear brake rotor, again, to give you a little bit more stopping power. The last uh, improvement that I'd like to share with you that I think is really pretty significant is the swing arm. We talked a lot about the chassis, but the swing arm is also very, very important. This is an 18, this is a 19. We're looking at these from the underside, so from underneath. Notice that the shock absorber mount on the 2018 is basically in the center of the swing arm. When we compare that to the 2019, you'll see that it's shifted off to this side, so it's it's considerably shifted, about uh, five millimeters shifted off to the right-hand side. Again, that leaves us room to have that straight shot air intake that we talked about earlier. So by shifting the shock to the right, we can use that extra space on the left to get that straight shot uh, intake into the uh, combustion chamber. The other difference uh, on the rear swing arm is I line up the 18 and the 19, and you'll notice that the cast section here for 19 has gotten much shorter. 
and the extruded or hydroformed uh, beam, uh, swing arm beam here has gotten longer on the 19. So what we've done is added a little bit more uh, flexibility into the swing arm to help improve rear wheel traction. So big changes on the swing arm, the chassis, the engine, uh, the bodywork, the ergonomics. Basically for 2019 we have an all new motorcycle and you guys are going to love it.